How have you found awareness increasing, not just in the local area, but everywhere you go? We've got a great fan group um, and it's just been growing. You've got uh, like kids there and, and they've got names on the back of, of players and you see like what as a group of players like what we can do obviously for younger generations as well. The size of club that Manchester United is, it's so global as well that fans across the world are, are interested no matter what team it is. Goalkeepers have a reputation for being a bit different. Do you think they have to be a bit different? People historically have said goalkeepers are crazy. I'd like to think I'm not crazy. <laughs> As a goalkeeper, if you make a mistake, it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. There's no forgetting it. It's a goal. Whereas as a centre forward, as a midfielder, you miss a tackle, you miss a pass, you miss an open goal, it's gone. And it can be a very lonely place once you've made a mistake because you might not touch the ball for another 20 minutes, half an hour. You might not touch the ball for the rest of the game. But to be able to cope with that and to still be able to perform when the ball next comes to you and to still have that mentality, I think you've got to be very thick-skinned to be a goalkeeper. You will go down in the history books, won't you? As Manchester United's first ever scorer. It was quite surreal actually when it happened but I think just the whole occasion for everyone was just great and it was a momentous day for everyone that we could get the win as well that was the most important thing and obviously I was just there at the right time and, and it was a tapping but you know they all count. Stop playing it down. <laughs> <laughs> if, you don't make, if you don't make the run at the back post and work as hard as you do you don't score the goals do Thanks you Lizzie? Thank you. <laughs> you're playing that way you're playing that way we're changing the point of the attack. What's she like as a, as a coach as a leader? Yeah, she's, she's amazing. I think like she's a real inspiration for us all. Obviously, she's played the game, so she knows what it's like, and she really can reflect that in the sessions. And like on a personal level, like, I've learned so much. Come on, get beyond them, get beyond them. But to be able to command the respect of a group of players so easily and so quickly is, is credit to her, and, and she's done so well coming in. I think she's selected a, a fantastic group of players. It's massive credit to her to have been able to do that so easily, or have made it look so easy, and to be so successful so quickly. Shiv, what does it mean to you to be playing in a shirt and a jacket that says Manchester United on it? It's the biggest club in the world. I think a lot of clubs will try and say that they're the biggest club in the world, but unless you're a part of the club and you see it and you're in it, you don't really realise how big Manchester United is and for them to have a women's team now and for us to be part of that first group of players and to be history makers is a fantastic feeling. Good luck in the WSL next season. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.